So at the end of the day yesterday, I was unloading the truck, and uh, we had a YouTube visitor, a YouTube visitor stopped by, and then after he left, I never did get started again. So I was unloading it some more this morning. I've got two lawnmowers now. Uh, kind of similar in a way. They're both Craftsman. I guess that's where the similarities end. This one is a flathead. That's an overhead valve. Tried cranking that one. It wouldn't hit a lick, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's gas in it. It's probably clogged up the carburetor. This is our old one. And keep in mind, this has never been driven on the road. I want you to look at the holes in it here and here. That's the way things rust up here in Maine. I uh, just saying, even your lawnmowers rust, rust away up here in Maine. How odd is that? So, <clears throat> when I pulled all that out, I started finding more tools from the other shop. And I'll put them away in the garage there, sort of like I was doing with the others. Um, a lot of these things are. I got a bunch of paint brushes and various and sundry different things in there kind of similar things over here I'll find a place for everything that I'm going to keep and find a place to get rid of everything I'm not so I guess I'll get on with it it's warmish today already I'm already thinking I might want to find my shorts and put them on so some of this stuff I'm going to organize a little farther, further after I get some other things done, like my little Winnihatchee apple box over there. I don't know if you can see it. Get the sunlight just right on it. And things, you know, I got a few things sitting around over here, but basically I got still got plenty of room to get in and out and up and down beside where the camper and I got all these little doodads and gigas up in here out of the way. I guess the nice thing about that is if you're out here and you want a shovel or a rake, you don't have to go over yonder and open up a shed to get one. And there's still some walking room on both sides of it here. So, with that said, I'm gonna turn this into a mechanical day. You know, you don't think about how much time it takes just to put things away and all those kinds of things. So, it took me quite a while just to get all the stuff sort of put back in some place that's good. One of the cute things that I brought home from down yonder was this little bird. I found this little bird inside the barn where those tools were. I pulled it out and said, honey baby, just look how pretty this is. And we was trying to figure out where to put it and I just set it over here in this bunch of flowers. Oh, it just looks just as cute as can be there, I think. It's lovely. It's amazing how a little thing can fill me with delight.